The first thing we're going to talk about, which should bring out lots of strong opinions, which we want you guys to leave below if you have any opinions on anything that we talk about. But we're talking about trophy hunting. Um, this is in the July issue of Bowhunter magazine. Um, it is talking about trophy hunting and some thoughts on it and just kind of got me thinking. So I thought it was a good one to kind of bring up and see what you thought and see what we thought and see what everybody else thought. So there's a quote at the start that said, how can other bow hunters know what is big or small unless animals are scored and entered in the books? So that was a quote. He was kind of talking about why Boone and Crockett needed to be a thing. And like I said, it's kind of, he thinks, or that guy thought that how do bow hunters know if they've shot something big if we don't score it and enter it in some sort of record book? Or that just kind of, I had a problem with that statement, so I was going to try and articulate maybe why I had a problem with that statement. Because it got me thinking when I read that, I was like, oh, I don't really like what I just heard there. I kind of had to think through why I didn't like it. I guess I'll, my first, I'll give you my first initial reaction real quick and let you go. Um, my first initial reaction was, that's, that's fine. We can score things. I don't know if there's nothing wrong with scoring things. There's record books in sports, like for having the top passing you know, touchdowns and rushing records and all that. There's nothing wrong with scoring it. I think it's how it's used and perceived. But also, we don't necessarily need a score to tell me that the deer I shot's huge if it's huge to me. Yeah, that's the first thing. To me, I know if a deer is big or if he's small as soon as I see him walking towards me. The other yeah. night we were velvet scouting. We seen that one walking across the swamp going to the soybeans, and we're like, shooter, big funny, deer. Like, uh, a funny note on that. We're on, I started a TikTok recently just to see if like if it would do anything or what all the hype is about for Whitetail Instinct. And a guy told me I needed, I said, uh, we're getting ready for uh, uh, plans for the fall now, time to make a game plan for the fall. And he commented and said, and, and what, wait two years? Because the buck wasn't big enough. <laughs> so I had a comment back. So yeah, I yeah. let him know that was pretty low and that I didn't need him judging me. Yeah, <laughs> That's a oh, side geez. note for that, but it kind of ties right in with Yeah, this. TikTok starting off strong. Yeah. I mean, that's why we weren't on Ridge, there. For Ridge Runner. And I feel like there's a Ridge Runner name running around on YouTube saying yeah. similar things. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess if you're going to put your name out there and you have an account, that's who it is. You guys want to go check him out. Check him out. He'll judge you. But uh, so moving on, like I said, I don't need someone, like you said, someone to tell me if it's big or small. If I think, then that's some, I just got to go back to that. If that's something we've talked about a bunch of times that's already. That's a big pet peeve for it's us. It's just a social media people telling other people or shaming other people for what they're shooting or what they think is a good deer. Yeah. It just should not happen. It happens way too much. And it's just a, I don't know. It just needs to leave. And I think... What we're trying to do is at least speak out on it and speak about it. And hopefully other people, people that have more followers, more, you know, bigger accounts than we do, hopefully start speaking up on it and we can tame it down a little bit. Um, just sometimes stop judging other people. Like my life and what I shoot has nothing to do with Ridge Runner and what he shoots. If he wants to wait for bigger ones, wait. But don't judge me because I feel like that buck was big, which it was. It's yeah. not a 160. I understand that. But it's big enough that I'm excited to shoot him if he walks 15 yards from me yeah, in September 1st. That's a three and a half, four and a half year old four by four deer. That what on yeah. public? What's you have to judge with? if that's Iowa. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a big buck. Yeah, but that's Nebraska and a place with you know a 160 is not walking out on that property no matter how long I wait. Yeah, and who a deer's probably dead by rifle season if we don't yeah. get him. So because what are you going to do? Plenty of people will be yeah. happy to shoot that thing. Yeah. So anyway. as a side note, as a tangent, yeah, but I got note, going. now we're going to get going on. You can see our passion for the, not for the people that do that. Yeah. But anyways, I'll know if a deer's big. He's walking towards me. I don't need you to score him to tell me if he's big or not. Um, and again, I have right down here. I don't need social media <laughs> or others to tell me if my deer that I yeah. think is big or not big. So I mean, that's not what's going through my mind. You know. When that deer is walking in is, I wrote down Billy was the name I put in, but now I'm going to change it. Like, man, I hope Ridge Runner from Ohio approves of this deer that I'm going to shoot. Like, yeah, that's I not think, what's going through my mind. And I think mind. the sad part is, is that sometimes that goes through people's mind. For us, that's not. But for a lot of people and young hunters and people trying to get into it, that's what's going through their mind. Is if I shoot this deer, I want to, but what's this guy going to say on social media? What are my friends going to say? And sometimes that's you know, going through their mind, that's not a good thing. And so that should be the last thing on your mind when a deer is walking in, yeah. is if other people are going to approve. Like, yeah. if you think it's fine, shoot it. Yeah, and like, I'll know when I see it. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we say. 
Well, are you going to, like, yeah. did you shoot that one? Dad asks us all the time, are you going to shoot him? And usually we're like, yes or no. But it's like sometimes I'll just know. If he walks in, and I'm, I'll yeah. know if I see it yeah. when he walks in. If I'm shaking and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. I'm yep. pulling back. So, like, he's, like you said, that happened. It's way too common. It goes through people's minds, and it shouldn't. That shouldn't even be close yep. to what's going through your mind when that buck or doe or whatever is walking in. So, uh, second to me, we touched on it just a little bit before, location and if it's public or private. makes a huge difference on what, if you do want to go off score or whatever, it makes a huge difference on, you know, if it's public land or private land. Different states, different sizes of deer. Are you in Rhode Island? Are you in Texas? Are you in Iowa? That's yeah. going to make a huge difference between whether that buck would be considered big or not big for you know the overall picture of what people would consider a big yeah. deer i mean i hunted an eye with the hunting public and the deer we saw in public land there were completely different they blew the deer out of the water that i've seen on nebraska public land like i see those deer in nebraska public land but it's few and far between where i'm seeing them there you know 12 15 times a year because it's just it's iowa it's a different place than nebraska than michigan than pennsylvania than texas like you said like expectations are completely you know different for where you're at thanks for watching this clip of the out here show there's plenty more of these clips and the full show over on the out here channel link is below head over there make sure to like and subscribe on that channel as well as this whitetail instinct channel thanks for watching and check out the out here show